It's over! The January 6 riot of Trump supporters at the U.S. Capitol left five people dead, hundreds injured, and temporarily delayed the democratic process of counting presidential votes. But 57 senators voted Saturday that former President Donald Trump was directly responsible for inciting that riot, though it was a failure to reach the two-thirds majority required for conviction. The senators were 10 votes short of the 67 needed for a conviction. Seven Republicans voted with Democrats for Trump's conviction. Donald John Trump be, and he is hereby acquitted. The first ever impeachment trial of a former U.S. president was also the fastest. Five intense days that included Democratic House impeachment managers revealing new footage of Vice President Mike Pence and lawmakers just steps away from the rioters. This case is about whether our country demands a peaceful, nonviolent transfer of power to guarantee the sovereignty of the people. Trump's lawyers accepted a last-minute piece of testimony alleging the former president was aware Pence was in danger and still failed to protect him. They argued Trump's remarks at the Stop the Steal rally immediately before the riot was protected free speech that did not directly influence the rioters. No matter how much truly horrifying footage we see of the conduct of the rioters and how much emotion has been injected into this trial, that does not change the fact that Mr. Trump is innocent of the charges against him. Mr. Romney, guilty. But Senator Mitt Romney, who barely escaped the rioters, joined with six other Republicans to convict the president, a sign there may be some shifts in the party. There are limits to the Republican Party's tolerance for President Trump's behaviors, and it might signal in the future uh, how much the party embraces him or her, how hard it tries to distance itself from the former president. More than 200 rioters have already been charged for their actions on January 6, a day lawmakers and analysts have warned could be a turning point for presidential abuse of power. Democrats ha ha always knew this would be extremely hard, uh, but I think the Democrats felt that if they didn't impeach him, it would set a precedent that future presidents could do terrible things and escape punishment. Trump is the only president to be impeached twice. The Senate acquittal leaves him free to pursue further political office, including a run for the presidency in 2024. Katherine Gibson, VOA News, Washington.